Uganda is heightening security and has commenced a massive search after militants linked to the Islamic State group killed at least 41 people, mostly students, in western parts of the country near the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo. The country's first lady, Janet Yumseven, while updating on the current situation on Saturday evening, said the government was still investigating the whole incident. The government, through the security agencies, is trying to follow up on what actually happened and it is on the top of the situation. We believe that justice will prevail, said Janet Museven, Ugandan Minister of Education and Sports and First Lady. Officials and witnesses said guns and knives were used in a grisly late night assault and demonstrators were set ablaze at who be the her secondary school in important way. Some students recounted the incident terming it horrific and they said we hadn't yet fallen asleep when we heard people arriving and saying open up open up we didn't reply then they started shooting and the, the, at the windows and the doors we went to hide under our beds on the floor as they continued to shoot at the windows one of us was hit by a bullet and started shouting, Help, come and help me. When they couldn't open the door, they continued to shoot at the windows, then set fire to our dormitory while we were inside. Then they moved on to the girls' dormitory, said Mumbele Edgar Dido, a student who survived the attack. The military said it was pursuing the attackers from the Allied Democratic Forces, who also abducted six people during a raid on a school late Friday before freeing back towards the Democratic Republic of Congo. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres strongly condemns the attack and sent his heartfelt condolences to the families of the victims, his spokesman said Saturday. Those responsible for this appalling act must be brought to justice, Guterres spokesman Farhan said in a statement. Thank you so much for watching.